story to tell. Combines operational capability, reliability, and affordability, fulfilling all of the Army's requirements for speed, range, endurance, and overall performance. We are talking about the UH-72 Lakota, the U.S. Army's multi-mission helicopter, which is used worldwide for all enforcement, emergency medical transportation, search and rescue, offshore and utility operations, and corporate transportation. The Eurocopter UH-72 Lakota is a single four-bladed manual twin engine helicopter. The UH-72 is a militarized version of the EC-145 Eurocopter and was built by the Airbus Group Division, American Eurocopter. Initially marketed as the UH-145 on June 30, 2006, the helicopter was chosen as the winner of Light Utility Helicopter Program of the United States Army. The UH-72 is based on the EC-145 Martyrian helicopter, serving the Army primarily for US logistics and support missions. It is also used for homeland security and disaster response missions and medical evacuations by the Army National Guard. With its square-rounded body and heavily glassed frontal section, the Lakota takes on a decidedly European look. It has a single four-bladed main rotor and a single two-bladed tail rotor mounted on the tail assembly's left side. The tail unit of the helicopters is mounted high with a pair of non-moving horizontal stabilizers mounted under the tail rotor. Furthermore, Twin vertical stabilizers are mounted on the outside edges of the horizontal stabilizers, thus effectively boxing in the tail rotor, enabling the safe loading and unloading of the cargo area. For increased situational awareness, the cockpit and cabin windows are large. A typical crew is two and up to eight passenger seats or two medical liters. The aircraft body had access doors mounted on each side of the fuselage, as well as last clamshell doors on the rear of the airframe to allow access to the cargo area for the loading of bomb cargo or liters. The UH-72 has a rescue winch mounted on the left side above the door of the crew compartment. The UH-72A utilizes a twin skid landing gear system. The helicopter UH-72A Lakota is unarmed. It is mainly used for logistics and non-combat missions. It can also perform medical evacuations and personnel recovery tasks. This helicopter has the capacity of 1,790 kg for payload. It can also carry a maximum underslung load of 1,500 kg. Two Turbomeca Area 1E2 turboshaft engines power the helicopter. The UH-72 can fly in one engine in operable mode. Other safety features include an airframe and seats that are crash-worthy. Performance includes a maximum speed of 167 miles per hour, with a cruising speed near 155 miles per hour. The range is 425 miles, and the service ceilings are about 18,000 feet high. Climbing rates are 1,600 feet per minute. Dimensions include 42.6 feet of length, with 36 feet of rotor diameter, and 11.8 feet of height. The U.S. Army proposed an armed scout version of the UH-72 
as a replacement for the Kiowa Warrior OH-58T. It did not receive any production orders, though. In June 2006, EADS North America was awarded a $43.1 million contract for an initial order of eight helicopters. The Army took delivery in December 2006 of the first UH 72 helicopter. July 2007 delivered the first eight helicopters. An additional order for $170 million worth of 34 helicopters was placed for delivery by the end of 2008, in October 2006. Operators beyond the United States Army and Navy, now Thailand, which has six systems on order. The Southeast Asian nation announced a further nine units for procurement. Airbus Helicopters recently won an approximately $273 million contract to supply the U.S. Army with 35 additional UH-72 helicopter rotor-wing aircraft. My video of UH-72 Lakota ends here. Thank you for watching. If you find this video interesting, please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos.